Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we get to look at another Godiva secret wig. It is Katie in two colors, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we get to look at another Godiva secret wig. It's one of the top 10 wigs from 19 or 20, from 1921, no, from 2022, 2021. <laughs> oh, don't pay any attention to me. I'm just too excited. Okay, so we're going to look at Katie. She's kind of a shoulder length um, flip and she's got lots of layers on top. I have her in Silverstone and I also have her in Iced Mocha Rooted. So let's take a look at her. Okay, this is what one of the pictures that she looks like. Well, heck, let's take her out of the bag. <laughs> All right, so they have her in two different sections of their website. One is under the rooted colors, and uh, the other section is a non-rooted color. And so these are, this is one of each. So I have the silver stone in the non-rooted color, and this is what the picture looks like on the website for that. And then we have this picture, and of course it's the same person, Danielle, the daughter of the mother-daughter team. She just had her picture taken in two different wigs. And the rooted, this is a, a representation of the one of the rooted colors. So I have it in Iced Mocha R, and then we have it in Silver Stone. So let's take a look at this girl's dimensions, okay? We have a five and a half inch bang. So you've got lots and lots of long bang right here in the very front. We have an eight and a half inch at the crown. So it's gonna go down below. And then we have um, the nape is six inches. So we've got a lot of flip down here. But this is the iced mocha color. Isn't that beautiful? It's part of their darkest blonde color is what they call it. But when you have this kind of rooting, um, it looks like about a num number uh, six or a four. And then the rest of it is a dark warm brown with gold highlights. So it does have a tendency to look a little bit darker than what I might call a blonde, but you can find them as part of their blonde labeling. Okay, so her cap construction is a closed lace construction on the crown and the top. She has a one half inch standard basic cap um, front for where the hairline is. It's open wefts everywhere, but look at, look at how neat those wefts are and how close they are together. There's not going to be any exposure of the wefting on this gal. We have the little bra-like straps not the hooks, but the, the stretchy kind where you pull the, the strap through the buckle. We have a standard um, nape on the bottom with some velvet, velvet fabric, so that'll help make it less itchy. We have uh, closed ear tabs, and we do have stitching on the underside of these ear tabs, so that's really nice. Really nice. Very nicely done, a good solid cap closed wefts, and then on top we do have permatees. Um, she can be fluffed up quite a bit. If you like volume, you can get that with Katie. Okay, well let's go ahead and try her on. Before I do, I am wearing Godiva's Secret Tiffany in the color Almond Roca. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Oh, I just love her. So I will do a review on her and you'll be able to take a closer look at her as well. All right, let's go ahead and try on Katie. Okay, here's Katie in the color Iced Mocha R. Now you can see I have lots of volume here with her and you can get a lot of volume if that's what you want. And the other thing with Godiva Secret wigs, their bangs are always a little bit longer than what we might want and so they do that so that they'll fit everyone and they'll all have the chance to be able to um, adjust their bang length so what i'm doing is i am instead of trimming them right now i am bending the bangs up and away from my face so that they don't fall in my eyes and i don't have to worry about that you know while i'm trying to do a demo for you anyway so 
cap fits very average, very average. It's nice and full, it's very stretchy, but it, it is fitting me snug for, for an average. Okay, so let's take a look at what we can do with her. She obviously wants to part here on the left. All right, out of the bag, let me go ahead and I'm gonna do a spin for you. I gotta tuck the tag in so it doesn't interfere with what we're looking at. Alrighty, so here's Katie. Got that flip going on all the way around. Isn't she cute? All right. And we've got sides that aren't too far forward. When I bend over, I don't feel like I'm getting a whole bunch of hair in my face. The only thing I'm feeling right now are the bangs. And of course that we can take and snip those off, can't we? Okay, let me double check. So we already have some volume. Let's see if we can play her down a little bit. You might want to use a, you know, a brush or a comb to kind of flatten out that permatease a little bit if you don't like it quite so big. All right, and of course a flatter um, image or a look makes it look a little, a little less formal. Let's call it that. Alrighty, so I love the way that the bangs come across and hit me at the cheek. You know, this whole idea of where I like an open bang, so you, you, the contour of my face widens at my cheeks and then comes in on my lower jaw so that it gives me the illusion that I have an oval face. I love that, I love that. And of course, having your bangs sweep out and crest at the top of your cheek and continue that little uh, movement off into your hair on the sides really does do something for creating that illusion that you are very wide at your cheekbone height. So let's see, we're patting her down. Okay, so this is again, just a real simple look. Let's see, we can wear her behind. And this part of the bangs is long enough to fit me and cover my sideburns a little bit. Let's see, let's do the other side. Oh, that's kind of nice. Cause then I can kind of wear the whole thing behind my ears without having to pull out some longer pieces. That's really nice. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm begging for a hair headband here. How's that? Not too bad with this little flip going on. That's kind of cool, isn't it? All right, let's see. Now this flip, it starts at my ears and it even continues down to my neck. You see how that is? That's, that's a lot of flip, isn't it? Now, if I wanted to, I could bring this flip forward, have it hug my neck a little bit. And if you want to keep it in that place, you back brush it just a tad. Let's see if I can back brush the back side of this and have it come under. Now, I don't know if I would like that look really, but I'm trying to see what it looks like just for that sake of playing with it. But can you see how you can change the direction of the, of the curl? on this wig by simply back brushing. And not a lot, not a lot. Okay, now that certainly, yeah, I don't think it took all the flip out, but it's a different look. And I bet you if we really wanted to make it stay that way, we could. Because sometimes when you try a wig on, you like this part, but you don't like this part. And so what do you do with those kinds of wigs? Well, you can do things like this, back brushing and re, re -cha or change up the way that it, that it looks a little bit. You can, you know, that's kind of what we're doing is playing around with this, making it look just a tad different. Have it come forward. And then she looks a little bit like a bob, doesn't she? Okay, so let's take a look and let's, let's go the other direction, see what happens. Now, you know we can also take these bangs and make them a whole lot thicker. Look at those highlights. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. 
That is a very nice blonde. I'm gonna go back to the flip. Is that okay with you? <laughs> okay, let's see. So we've got some razor cut area hairs along the jawbone. And then we've got, oh, hmm, how's that look? Think we could get those to stay there kind of like that, hug our neck. And now I can see it's quite a bit more blonde right around the bang area. And so, wow, we could really get a lot of volume with this girl, couldn't we? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> I need a headband. We're going back to the 60s. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. That is something else, isn't it? Oh, too fun. <laughs> well, it's nice that you have the option of doing this. You don't have to, but but it's nice to know that you can. Isn't that right? <laughs> okay, let's get her flattened down. I know. Let me let me pull it forward too. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. I can't see through my bangs. <laughs> That's a lot. But if you wanted more bangs or a solid, more solid bang area, you could certainly do that. Okay, so parted down the middle, a little bit more, pulled forward. Now, okay, it is a basic cap, so she has just a standard front cap. Okay, and then of course, let me try doing a side sweep, okay? Ooh. Well, that could work. You could make that work. Let's see, that way or the other direction. It looks like she's really wanting to do her little flippy thing, doesn't it? Okay, well, we can always try a little bit of water. Let's try that. But isn't this color pretty? The highlights are really pretty in gold. And of course, this is a rooted color and not all ice mochas are rooted, but this one is, and it is, it comes rooted and unrooted. So you can add some more of that dimension, but see it's dark. It's going to show dark all the way through the wig. Everywhere you turn, it's going to be dark at the roots. So that's a wonderful thing. All right, let me see what we can do here with just a little bit of water. I'm not gonna add a whole bunch because I wanna try on Silverstone, don't you? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and piece out some of this. Ah, you know, I could take my blingy little, my pretty blingy clips, you know, and I could just put it up here and pull that side back a little bit, couldn't I? And then, look at, we could have a lot of fun with having this be real kind of crazy and party-like back there. Maybe put another clip over on this side. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? I know that some people actually take and do a half up, half down. So you can take the sides of Katie, pull it back, let's do, Let's do it with my silver clip. Mm, I bet you that would look really pretty on, on the silver stone. But let's take a look. Just a simple clip in the back. Pulling it back away from the face even a little bit more. You could even open up your bangs a little bit. Make them a little like the pompadour. Yeah. Well, this is really fun. This is Katie, okay? And she is a flippy girl, isn't she? All right, let's go ahead and try on Silverstone. All right, here we go. Okay, so here is Katie in Silverstone. And you know, we, we, you know we get, every wig is kind of different. One may want to part on this side, another one may want to part on the other side. But look at what this one does. And this color, Silverstone is gorgeous, just gorgeous gorgeous amazing so we could part her in the middle we could get make sure we have bangs of some sort we could certainly side sweep them to the side let's see get that 
So <laughs> this really is accentuating those layers, isn't it? A little bit different look, but we can certainly make her look more like the, the, the photograph. Oh, but look at this. Doesn't that look pretty? The way that it's just wanting to flip out. And all I did was shake her. I shook her really good. So, well, this is a, a real pretty version of Katie in the Silverstone. This is a beautiful, beautiful wig. And if you like that little bit of flip, and of course it looks very elegant, you know, when, when you get hair just to the shoulders and working with, with all different other kinds of accessories, even my little clip is really pretty in that too, in that silver. The colors of these particular wigs are just really fun. They're really, really pretty. Great combinations of highlights and lowlights. But this is silver stone. And uh, one, of, one of their most popular grays, if not the most popular gray color that they carry. So the cap feels good. Same identical cap construction as I showed you on the Ice Mocha R. And this one um, is identical as well. Basic cap construction. Um, this is not a rooted color, so it's $20 less than the um, Ice Mocha R. And that's the only, only thing about that, that, you know, that makes it different. So we could do exactly the same kind of thing. Oh, I'm really kind of liking this a uh, little bit of coming forward and then going back. Isn't that pretty? And of course, a side swept bang or else a full bang. You can use do either one. Let me turn around, okay, for you. And the fibers feel wonderful. They move so realistically. And I will tell you again, you know, these, these particular wigs, they last a long time. They last a long time. And the Katie comes in 13 different non-rooted colors and then 16 different rooted colors. So there's lots to choose from with this, this girl. And this wig, Katie, comes in a large size as well. So if the average size fits you a little bit too snug, you can always get a large. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for us and Katie. Thank you so much for joining me here again today. I'm going to keep showing up and I hope you do too. So we'll see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.